My name is Will, welcome to Lightroom Basics where we get shit done in under two minutes. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create perfect whites and blacks in your image and create optimum dynamic range. To create optimum white and black points, there's a couple of things you can do. First, we're gonna adjust the highlights and the shadows to bring back details. Now you can play with the white slider and you can play with the black slider, but where is the perfect spot? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way is to push and hold Alt and Option and click the white slider. This will turn your screen black. Now, slide it up until you start to see a little bit of white and bring it back down. Do the same thing with the black. Push and hold Alt or Option, click the black slider and slide it down until you see black. A lot of people like to push this a little bit more, but this is totally up to you. Once you've done that, you have set your optimum white and black points as it is now. As you adjust your image, these may change, but this gives you a really good place to start. Just as a note, if you go to your tone curve and if you adjust your white point or your black point like this, you will affect being able to see the white and black points. For example, I've now raised the black point above black. So this is telling the image that there is no true blacks in the image. This is telling the image that there's no true whites in the image. So if I now go to the white and black points, push and hold alter option, no matter what I do, no matter how high I go, there will be no white. And same thing with the black, there will be no black. So even though this looks like crap, that is why. So if we go back to our tone curve and reset this, now we have true black and true white in the image again. We can then go to our white and black points, push and hold alter option and adjust as needed. So just remember that when you're adjusting for your whites and blacks and adjusting them later once you've edited the image. Now, if you're tired of looking around the internet for videos like this, I have a Lightroom Master of Editing course which covers everything and more in detail so you can master editing like the pros. I'll link it in the description.